If they shared the same passion for their sport and their country, you'd have the best player to ever pick up a racket. One I love, the other is a tosser. But I'm afraid they've both footfolded this week. Andrew Gaze, if Mark Philippoussis is up to another comeback, then you're LeBron James. And Des Dowling, I don't care if Leighton Hewitt calls his next born the good oil. I'm not paying to receive a text message giving me the scoop. Hard, hard words. No, well, I can understand where you're coming from, Mark. I know there's going to be a, a lot of criticism of Mark Philippoussis and yet another comeback, but in recent times he's been able to get over... Jim Curry and John McEnroe, oh, wow. few of the icons of the sport. And How old is John McEnroe now? 82? <laughs> no, well, I think we just need to throw him the test. We bring him back here, give him a hit against, uh, maybe throw out Rod Laver if you can knock, knock him over. Fred Perry. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> perhaps Mark Edmondson, <laughs> maybe Tony Roach, and then there's no Andrew, doubt he's ready Andrew, for the ATP Andrew. tour. I'm happy for my 85-year-old grandmother to start dating again, but I don't want to know about it, all right? I just let her do it in her own time. And this is, Mark Philippoussis, we don't care, mate. We don't care. I thought the best... No, of... we do care. Well, I mean, wouldn't it be a great story for look, him to come back? We care, we care about this. Have a look at the player's box that Mark Philippoussis well, there, had no. for, yeah, for his well, tournament in day it... victory in Arizona in the seniors tour. The only brunette in there is his old man. Now, that's fair dinkum. That's apparently, well, apparently, a fair dinkum pitcher. And it's the trip to Silicon Valley that's been the thing holding him back most of his career career mark the fact that he's got a great eye for the skirt he's a good looking rooster and and that's kept him at that sort of mediocre <laughs> level and and permanently injured for much of his career maybe it's not emotionally a, and physically a fair dinkum picture but this is fair oh, dinkum Leighton Hewitt is charging his fans two dollars oh, if no. they want an sms to exclusively reveal the name of his newborn child before right. anybody else right, gets Mark. it just two bucks <laughs> A quick word to everyone out there. There's a thing called Twitter, and they don't charge for that. And you can talk to, you can listen to, converse, interact with famous people all over the world. You don't have to pay two bucks just to be the first person. And do you think, how long do you think, once that first text goes out, it's out. Everyone else will know a minute later. No, so no, you pay the $2 the, You'll be one of, one of joy, only, surely, about seven people that'll pay to find out. And well, how irresponsible is he? Do you know that the serving machine hit that kid in the forehead with a tennis ball at 160 k's five seconds Who, later? Ricky Ponting's kid. Um, uh, Drewy, this... Is, come on. No, Give I, me an adjective to describe Leighton. Uh, disappointing at the moment, but I think you must, you must not have the full story because there's got to be some charitable organisation no. behind this. There's got to be something more to it because he doesn't, he's not short of a quid and uh, there's got to be some other explanation. Please may there be some other explanation. We've got to be smarter than this. We can't let them do it. Well, he is smart. He's going to make heaps of cash. Is he? Though, is he? Who is going to do it? Who wants to know ahead of time who he's, what, what he's going to name his kid? Yeah, good point. Before the final word, uh, you can see and hear more of Andrew and Des on Leighton and Scud's mixed doubles, Tim Sheen's love for Lottie, Sydney FC's horror season, and a mug punter's take on Racing Spring Carnival by logging on to goodoiltv.com. Now, please do that. And uh, I wanted the final word this week on the fact oh, Australia's yeah. cricket team for the first international of the summer is made up exclusively of New South Welshmen and Victorians. What are the rest of the country's kids doing, by the way, in their collective backyards these days? But Drewy has pulled rank. The, the final word this week goes to Wayne Rooney. We saw irreconcilable differences between him, the coach, Manchester United, all those things last week. But... It's amazing how things can change. You get a few of the Man United supporters coming around and just giving a knock on the door and just showing their enthusiasm for the club and also th throw in £250,000 a week and there you have the formula for a, a, a reuniting of a great player and an even better organisation. Not bad, Drew. You don't mind it. We've got to go. We're out of time. All the best and bye for now. Oh, oh now have a look. John Howard Shoes just come back. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs>